The guy that put the prisoner. Here is the. The guy that put the prisoner gets nominated for the Ebony Award. <laughs> black whatever award, award, award for black achievement. I'm not doing any more prisoner roll. <laughs> I'm walking down Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue, you know, none of you have been in New York, so I don't know what the hell. <laughs> so I'm going to say this. 500 people coming this way, 500 people going that way. Beautiful summer day. I see this guy walking, and he's looking like this. And I see him immediately. He's a tourist. <laughs> They're wonderful. And this gets, he gets closer. I say, I know this guy. And he gets closer. I say, Jesse? And he says, Canovis? OK, I have to explain that. <laughs> My real name is Canovis Alvin Foray. My father was Canovis. My uncle was Canovis. And I don't know where they got that name, but I got stuck with it. So, so I just kept it as Canovis Alvin Foray as an actor, but I started with Ken Foray because everyone called me Ken. Now back to the story. <laughs> So he says, can notice. And it was my high, my grade school, halfback, halfback, American football halfback, grade school halfback out of Indiana, which is, I don't know if you know American geography, do you know where New York and Indiana, the differences in space there? You know, it's quite a quite a system, right? <laughs> so I said, gee, how you doing? Uh, I'm playing basketball on 4th Street in the village, New York, on a basketball court. And I heard someone else say, this is months later, Canotis! No one knows me as Canotis, except for in Indiana when I was in grade school. I know this. I turn, and it's my grade school quarterback, who is now the second in, second in charge of the Port Authority of New York. So you wanted a short story. That's a short story. And the reason I tell you this story is because you never know, wherever you are, who may see you and tell your mama <laughs> what the hell you're doing. <laughs>